What's going on, everyone? Happy Sunday. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy, testing negative for the viruses, and having a great weekend so far. It is time for the Sunday edition of the Virus Update for Sunday, June 22nd, 2025. That's right. It is Wastewater Sunday. What is Wastewater Sunday, might you ask? It is where we take a look at COVID and other viruses in wastewater to get a sense of what the levels of the viruses are, for the most part, in the United States. Sometimes we talk about the other parts of the world as well, but to keep you informed of what's going on with these viruses. Want to stay informed? Maybe you're new to the channel. Just subscribe down below. Welcome if you're new. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, and share this video with anyone you know. Alrighty, uh, we have just two things to show you in the news category, actually three things, and two of them are just variant-related things, then we'll show a couple daily things, and then really we're just going to look at some wastewater sites today. Won't be as long of a video today. Um, Mike Honey over on X posted, here's the latest variant picture for the United Kingdom to early June. The LP.8.1 variant was still dominant, but fell to around 38% frequency. The XFG or otherwise known as Stratus, that's what we're calling it now. You know, some of these sub-variants get a nickname. Variant grew strongly to challenge at 34%. Now, when we take a look at the global picture, here's the latest variant picture with a globe scope to early June. And get this, the NB.1.8.1 Nimbus variant was struggling lately at around 25%. Why might you ask? That XFG variant that many have talked about, we talked about it here too. And to be fair, I didn't give it enough uh, mention back when we were first starting to find out about it because here we go. Growth of the XFG Stratus variant accelerated to 28% and is now dominant on the worldwide scale, according to his latest findings. So, yes, XFG is now starting to uh, really go up. So, it's something we're going to have to watch. I think that's going to end up being a variant that's going to cause subvariant of Omicron. Remember, it comes from the Omicron family. That really causes uh, problems here in the summertime in the United States. All right, wastewater scan, respiratory weekly update. SARS-CoV-2 is in the medium category. All other respiratory viruses, uh, they monitor RSV, influenza A, influenza B, HMPV, EVD68 are in the low category nationwide. COVID-19 nationwide, SARS-CoV-2 is in the medium category with medium concentrations now, it says here a downward trend over the last three weeks. I really don't understand that. I can tell you right now, the south is definitely going up. The west is starting to go up. We'll show you Florida in a little bit. Uh, my website is datareport.info. Haven't really updated anything. Tomorrow, I'm going back home to Philadelphia. And effective Tuesday, we will go back to uh, data field at home virus updates. Mind you, it is going to be very hot at home. we got to talk about that in just a moment. Uh, the heat is going to be really bad. But my website, datareport.info, uh, with that heat coming on Tuesday, I don't foresee myself going out to work. It's going to be 100, over 100 degrees with humidity at home. So that'll probably be a day where I'll catch up on the website and update the threads and do whatever needs to be done there. All right, taking a look at the air qualities, if we can, because remember, when I'm doing these out in the wild updates, especially here in the middle of the central Pennsylvania mountains, I'm on a tethered internet connection, but I'm really surprised. That's, this internet connection really uh, works well. We'll see for how much longer. Uh, now, we can't see the air qualities. You know what? We'll come back to this. We'll take a look here. Oh, here it is. Um, yeah, the air qualities are bad in the east. That's not going to change because we have this heat that's building. And then on the west coast, a few minor problems out in California, maybe some problems in the central region. Take a look at this. Uh, excessive heat watch, excessive heat advisories. Extreme heat warnings. Yes, they're up for many places. Uh, you can see that northeast is going to be very hot. You can see it's going to be very hot in places like the uh, Great Lakes, the Midwest, all the way down to Louisiana. This is seriously dangerous heat, my friends. This is not good whatsoever. And yeah, you are also seeing blues. Yeah, that your eyes are not deceiving you in Montana, Wyoming, even up there in portions of Idaho. Yeah, those are freeze warnings. That just shows you the extremes of the weather, of what it can do. All right, moving on now, Pinellas County, Florida. Like I said, Florida's not doing great for the viruses right now, in particular uh, COVID, but I've seen a few wastewater sites there where, like, norovirus is bad, too. So 
Take a look at this. Yeah, we have sick person calls, quite a few of them. Once again, showing up there right now. In uh, Florida, breathing problems. Yeah, one, two, three. At least four of them, maybe more breathing problem calls right now. Philadelphia for Saturday, I, no, for Friday, 795 EMS incidents. I don't know, is Saturday's number in yet? Sometimes they are late in doing this on Sundays. Does it even want to load? I don't know. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, but uh, yeah, the number 744 EMS incidents on Saturday. And on Friday, it was 795, so below 800. But with this extreme heat that's coming over the next uh, several days to places like Philadelphia and all those major East Coast cities, I expect heat-related illness calls are going to go up. Hey, Montgomery County, Pennsylvania, not doing too bad right now. But let me refresh this. That could very well be behind. Still, not doing bad right now. Chester County has been really busy this morning. I've checked it on two separate occasions. We may not be able to get that, but uh, I checked it just before starting this video, and they were north of 15 calls. That is uh, really bad for a Sunday in Chester County, Pennsylvania. Yeah, take a look at this. They're still really bad. And sick person is showing up a lot, so uh, that's not good to see. That oftentimes in a county can be the miscellaneous call. So uh, sick person calls, you know, this heat doesn't do people any favors. That can make people feel sick as well. Uh, how about we skip over the hostile situations and just go right into wastewater, shall we? But before we do that, we just talked about the heat. You want to make sure you're keeping yourself hydrated. So let's pause and take a drink of water. And I promise, before I go home tomorrow, uh, we're going to do a drink of water directly from where this spring is. All right. Doesn't that feel much better? You feel more hydrated? I know I do. It's really hot here. The sun is actually beating down on me, but uh, I wanted to show you New York State here. And in New York State at this time, here we go. In New York State, we can see here a lot of sites here that are in the gray that have not updated. But the wastewater sites down by Long Island and New York City, for the most part, are moderate. There's even some that are higher at this point. So that's not something we like to see. Taking a look at wastewater around the country, we can see High levels of a COVID in wastewater in Alaska, uh, moderate levels in Texas, moderate levels in Florida, moderate levels in Nevada. And when we take a look at the regional trends, we can see the west is now rising, the south has gone up slightly, the northeast even went up some, and the midwest has gone up this week, pushing the national level for wastewater. Yes, it's going up. It's in the low category, but uh, that may accelerate pretty soon, and some of these regions may shift to moderate or yeah, eventually maybe even higher as we get later into July. Because remember, we're just a couple weeks away from 4th of July, and that's not going to do us favors. Alabama right now is in a very low category, but we want to take a look at what's going on in Florida. And when we take a look at Florida, Florida is in the moderate at this time, and we're starting to see down around Miami very high levels, and high levels starting to show up. We're also starting to see moderate to high levels show up in Orlando area. Then as you get northwest of there, and we're also seeing some higher levels in Pinellas County, Florida. So that is a concern at this time. And then, of course, if you go south, south of the United States, I talked about it yesterday. Puerto Rico, things are really getting bad. Uh, the number of cases in Puerto Rico are absolutely skyrocketing right now. And yeah, they're getting close to doing that in Florida. And I think we're going to see Florida, which is moderate right now. I wouldn't be surprised within a week or two, Florida goes up to high levels for COVID. Take a look at this chart here. You can see here, it's going up. It's already not far from high. So that is relatively concerning. Let's take a look somewhere on the West Coast now. Let's take a look at what's going on in California, if we can. Here it comes. And California is still low, but take a look at what's going on around San Francisco. Levels there are starting to go upward. And you can see the statewide level did not just yet. And one of the reasons for that is L.A. is not doing bad. Los Angeles is not doing all that bad just yet. Uh, let's continue on here. Let's go up to, how about we go up to the state of Washington and we see what's going on there. And Washington at this time, we can see is still in the low category, but we're watching this. We can see here uh, the regional level. It is going up and the state level it is starting to go up. They're in the low category, but I wouldn't be surprised if they get to moderate at some point in July, and perhaps maybe they continue to go up from there. Let's take a look at what's going on in Oklahoma. And in case you did not know, 
Oklahoma doesn't have a lot of data. Oklahoma also has a problem. They have one of the highest long COVID rates. And there's just one wastewater site reporting on this, and it is very low at this time. Now let's go to somewhere in the Northeast. Let's see what's going on in New Jersey. And in New Jersey, things are low at this time, and uh, they dropped on the most recent update. So that is good to see. Let's see what is going on now in, but we go to Tennessee. We'll take a look there. I don't know how many wastewater sites they have, just two. Still, as said, very low, but you can see here it's starting to rise once again, so that is problematic. Texas, that's a place that gets a surge in the summertime. Let's see if Texas is starting to rise, and we'll see more wastewater sites in Texas. Yeah, there we go. Oh, my. Texas is at moderate. So Texas had a rise already. Now they're starting to drop back down. I don't think that's the end of their wave because XFG, like I said, it is coming along. Now we want to go up to Michigan and see what's going on there. And I think we are going to skip wastewater scan today, folks. Uh, normally we would look at other viruses. I think we're just going to skip that today. I can just see, tell right now, wastewater scan is going to load very slow. And we can see here in Michigan, things are starting to rise uh, somewhat. Uh, let's continue on here. Let's go out to... I don't know. Let's go back to the Northeast. Let's see what's going on in the great state of Maine. I'll be going there in July to a, uh, family, a relative's place. And we can see Maine at this time is doing okay. It's still looks that very low. So glad to see that. We're just bouncing around here in the United States. Uh, let's go somewhere back on the West Coast again. We're looking for Oregon now. Here's uh, Oregon. And Pennsylvania is next. So we'll, we'll take a look at Pennsylvania too. In Oregon right now, still low, but I suspect Oregon is probably going to start rising soon. Uh, right now, it dropped on the most recent update. That's surprising. You can see some of the populations. There are some high wastewater sites uh, that are showing up at this time. Let's take a look at uh, Pennsylvania. And in Pennsylvania, we will find that things are still very low at this point. And Pennsylvania is still dropping, which is some fantastic news. Uh, let's take a look at what's going on in Alabama. I know we have some followers in Alabama, at least one. And we can see in Alabama, things are still very low at this time. And how about Washington, D.C.? Let's see what that one wastewater site. I think it's one. Uh, moderate at this time. So moderate, but it looks like on the most recent update, which their data is incomplete, it has dropped at this time. All right. Where do we stand right now in the United States? Well, we're watching XFG variant, subvariant of COVID. It is taken over. Once it's taken over, unlike the LP.8.1 variant, uh, it is going to cause a wave. It's going to continue to go up. Fourth of July is not going to do us any favors. We're going to have all those family gatherings, and uh, things are going to rise. Probably at this time in mid-July, we take a look at the national wastewater level. I would be shocked if we're not back to moderate. And there's going to be more people testing positive. With more people testing positive, that is going to be more cases of long COVID, which long COVID is not a good thing. It could last a few months, or you could be stuck with it potentially for who knows how long. Maybe the rest of your life. We don't know how long people from 2020 are going to go on suffering long COVID. It is a real problem. Alrighty, folks, that does it for today's virus update. We'll have something for tomorrow. I'm traveling home tomorrow. If you enjoyed today's update give it a thumbs up subscribe down below hit that notification bell share this video with anyone you know leave your comments down below and ways to support the channel are also listed down below i will see everyone again next time until i see you again next time stay safe everyone and have a fantastic sunday afternoon thanks for watching